In today's video, we're gonna unbox and set up the newest member of the Google Home family, the Google Home Mini. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And in today's video, we're gonna dive in and show you the Google Home Mini and how you can get it all set up and exactly what it does. So first, this is the second Google Home device. Google Home is a voice activated speaker that allows you to talk to Google and many different services just with your voice using the keywords, okay Google or hey Google. In today's video, we're gonna show you this new device show you how to use it and all the new additions that has come out to the Google Home and what you can do. So here on the side, we can just start with the keyword, then we can ask any question. What is the nearest flower shop? Call Jane's Flowers. Tell me about my day. You can now set reminders and it will alert you on the Google Home or your mobile device. You can play movies from Netflix to your Chromecast. You can also play music, so Spotify, Google Play Music. Here you can translate a word to any language so you can learn about it and you can change your smart home devices and depending on what you have available and what you have set up. Here, this is a small and mighty package, so this is not as big as the original Google Home, but it still is able to do all the same features that it could. So it knows it all, it uses the power of Google, can tackle your day, setting alarms, reminders, uh, finding about your commute and the travel time. I love to use it to find out when a store closes, how long it's gonna take me to get there. Here we can make calls, entertainment, and control your home right from this device. And then here are some of the services that you can connect to. So we have the Nest or Philips Hue, Wemo, Chromecast, Google Photos, Spotify, Netflix, YouTube, and I have many videos about that. So make sure you click the links at the end of the video to learn more about all the things that you can do with the Google Home. This is the Google Home Mini chalk version. So we just have the pull tab right there. And there is the Google Home Mini device. So it is a very small little puck. On the bottom here, you have a nice soft surface so that it doesn't move around. You have the micro USB power cable. And then right here on the side, you have the mute switch. So if you don't want Google Home to listen, you can mute that. And that is the little Google Home Mini. In the box, we also have the get started guide and the power cable. So we have this little nice round mini cable, which looks really cool. And that's everything in the box. So getting started, we just need to plug it in and download the Google Home app through the Play Store or the App Store. And then here is instructions on how to use that and we'll get into that in a minute and tells you a few commands that you can use. Just for a quick comparison, here is the size of the Google Home Mini versus the Google Home. You can see the size difference right there. Uh, about the same roundness, but of course the height is quite different. So uh, this does have a really nice speaker sound, so we'll see how this sounds, and we'll do a full comparison between the two in another video. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. All right, so we've already done that. We have the Google Home app right here. And when we go into the app, it automatically says that we have one new device to set up. We also can go into the devices up at the top right, and we can see there is a new device to set up as well. So here I'm just gonna click set up, and then it says it found the Google Home Mini. It is now connecting to the Google Home Mini, and it's going to set it up on my Wi-Fi. So it can automatically connect to the Wi-Fi and be continuously on there without my phone or any other device. Now the Google Home Mini needs a Wi-Fi network with a constant connection. So you do need that to be able to use this. So here we did hear the sound. So we're gonna say yes. And then it's asking what room you want this in. So you can designate where all the devices in your house are going to be. And we're gonna have this one be in the bedroom. So the Google Home Mini is great because it's really small. You could have it in kids' rooms, bedroom, maybe a room where you don't need quite as much sound. And then here you can choose the Wi-Fi network that you want to set it up on. I'm just gonna select the one that is available. Here the Google Home app can get the Wi-Fi network from my phone already. And then here it's going to connect that to the Wi-Fi. So it's just talking about how Google Home is powered by the Google Assistant. And it also has some other safety information you may need to know. And then here, the first thing that it's going to do is teach the Assistant to recognize your voice. So this can know when you talk to it, when you're 
uh, spouse talks to it or other members in the family and you can have six different people talk to it all at once. So here I'm going to say yes I'm in and then you just follow the commands. Okay Google. Hey Google. Okay Google. Hey Google. Now when I ask it a question it will give me a personalized response because it knows my voice and it can do that for all six members of the family. All right, the Google Home is all set up and ready to go. So now you can personalize it with your address so it knows where to give directions from. That address is correct. So here it's showing the music services that you can connect with your Google Home. I use Google Play Music, but you could use any of these to play music. Right here you can select which one is default. So when you ask it to play music, it will use that service to play the music. And then here you can use shopping on your Google Home to actually buy items from Costco or Walmart. So here you can add a payment method as well as you can set up a default speaker. So if you have a Chromecast Audio or other Google Homes, you can actually set a default speaker so it will play on that speaker whenever you request music. So here I could say play on the Chromecast Audio, play on the Kitchen Home, or I set up an audio group where it could play on all the Google Homes at once. Then we click continue and- Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. So then we can use the Google Home app to learn more about what we can do. And here we can say finish setup. So then over here on the app, we can click discover and it will go through here and tell us some of the things that we can use the Google Assistant for. So it's telling us how to change the volume. So right here on the right and left side, so the right side allows it to go up and when it's full volume, it will give you that notification. Over here, we can click and turn it down until it is all the way down. And unlike the other Google Home, there is no command where you touch and hold on the top of the device. And then if we mute the mic in the back, so here if I turn on the mute button, it will, it will give you a notification the mic is off and it will no longer listen to you, so there is no way that you can activate it. You do have to turn on the mic again. The mic's back on. All right, so there we have it all set up. Now let's look at a few different things that we can do. So whenever you want to use the Google Home Mini, you just need to activate it by saying the key phrase, and it has a really good speaker, so you can actually be really far away to use this. So all I need to do is say, hey Google, what's the weather tomorrow? Tomorrow in Linden, it'll be sunny with a high of 69 and a low of 44. So whenever you give a command, it will automatically illuminate the top of the Google Home so that you know it's listening to you. If you ever want to stop, all you need to say is cancel. Hey Google, what's the population of New York City? The population of New York City was 8.538 million in 2016. Hey Google, when was it established? New York City was founded in 1624. So when you ask about one thing, you can give a response question and it will know that you were already talking about that item so you can do a continuous conversation. If you wanna play music, all you need to say is, hey Google, play music by Coldplay. Okay, here's a Google Play Music radio mix based on the Coldplay playlist. And then it will play. You can also just say, hey Google, Turn the volume down to 10%. Hey Google, stop. You can ask it all kinds of sounds. Hey Google, what does a space shuttle sound like? This is a space shuttle. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We've gone for main engine start. We have. To set up your different smart devices, you need to go into the Google Home app and go into the top left menu and then here you have more settings. In the more settings, you can control a lot of things like the personal info that it allows to do. Here I can change my home or work locations. Here I can set my nickname so it already knows that I am Tech with Brett. Here I can change email updates. Down in preferences, I can change the weather. So if I want to have it Celsius, I can do that. Now I can also change the assistant voice. So here is the voice it's currently on. or I can change it to voice number two. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help you throughout your day. So then going down here, it shows the different devices that are connected. And then down here, you have your services, like I can change my music, I can add home control devices, I can set what news I like to hear, I can change my day, TV speaker, shopping list, 
shortcuts, calls, and videos and photos. If you'd like to know more about most of those features, click the pop-up on screen. I will be providing you with more details about more of these features coming in the future. One thing that you can do now is you can go into the My Day, and here you can set up the weather, your commute, your next meeting, and reminder. So in the morning, when you come and you talk to your Google Home Mini, you can just say, hey Google, tell me about my day. Good evening, Tech with Brett. It is 10.39 p.m. Currently in Linden, it's 49 and partly cloudy. The forecast tonight is 71 and partly cloudy. Tomorrow at 9.15 a.m., you have work out. By the way, you need to take out the trash. Have a wonderful day. So there you go. That is exactly what I want to hear whenever I say, tell me about my day. If you want to add news, you can come in right here and you can change the different news articles that you want to hear and the different news stations that you want to hear from. You can also now use Google Home to call out with your own phone number. So under here, under calls and speakers, you can actually choose to edit your own phone number and you go through this process where it is able to put your phone number into here. So whenever you call somebody like, hey Google, call Carrie. Sure, since this is your first call with Google Home, here's a couple of notes. First, emergency numbers are not available. At the end of your call, tell me to hang up or tap the top of the Google Home. Calling Carrie Bristow, mobile. And then it will place the call. Hello? Hey babe, how's it going? <laughs> Are you recording me right now? Of course. I'm watching my shows. <laughs> okay, have a good night. Hey Google, cancel and then it will hang up. You can also add items to your shopping list and you can do so much with the Google Home, it will connect to all your Google services. And if you wanna know more about the things that you can do, just go back to the Google Home app, click the Discover tab and go through here and it will give you some new tricks that you can use. And maybe you search something on the web and it says go to your Google Home app, go to here and it will show you exactly what it is talking about. And if you want to stop the music, uh, you can also come in here and I can just click stop or play if I want to change the volume as well. A few other cool features that have come out recently on the Google Home is you are actually able to pair it as a Bluetooth speaker. So to pair that up, all you need to say is, hey Google, pair Bluetooth device. All right, to connect, open Bluetooth settings and look for the device called bedroom speaker. So now I can go into my Bluetooth. I can then see that the bedroom speaker is popping up right here on available devices. And then I can select that and it will pair as a Bluetooth device. So why you would need this is maybe an app doesn't support casting to the Google Home or your music app was not in one of the selections available. You can actually just pair it and say I wanna to listen to like an audible audiobook you can play that now through the Bluetooth speaker. We've really enjoyed having the Google Home in our house and asking it all kinds of questions to help it remind us things, setting alarms, and we're excited to have the Google Home Mini to be able to use this in more rooms and be able to set those alarms and all kinds of things. If you have any further questions about the Google Home Mini or about what the Google Home could do, please leave a comment below. If this is your first time here, I'd love for you to subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Make sure you click on the Google Home playlist at the end so that you can know all the things that the Google Home can do. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.